Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick update, a very important update on what's going on with me and some information that I think you should know. That way you can get all the information I got and maybe, just maybe, that information might save somebody's life out there. So let's get into it. Now before we get too far along in this, I just wanted to say thank you to the whole community out there that has been sending their prayers in, all the beautiful comments that you left for me and my wife, Leela, and of course just the, the general overall feeling of, of people concerned about my general health. And I can't tell you how good that makes me feel and I want to say thank you to everybody out there for that so a lot of you guys have been asking about the silver now I'm not gonna pick it all up because my nurse or I should say my doctor has advised me not to pick up anything over five pounds we're gonna be giving away all this silver that I talked about at the end of this month now for all my premium patrons out there you know how we give away the gold nuggets and we're gonna be doing the same thing with all this silver that we got in here too and for you people who don't know we give away gold and now silver and of course a drone now that I think about it at the end of this month and we give away gold every month it all comes out of our drift mine and of course our hard rock specimens too that come out of our hard rock mines but that's not what I wanted to talk about. No, what I wanted to talk about today was something what I consider to be much more important than that. And if this information can save just one person's life, then I'm gonna feel very grateful for that. But I wanted to talk about appendicitis real quick, okay? Because evidently there's not a lot of information out there or misconceptions about it. Not a lot of people, at least I didn't know about it. I just knew about the basic symptoms that you always hear about growing up as a kid. But as you get older, you forget about that because you figure, oh, this is just something that the kids Get. And I found out the hard way that you can get this anytime in your life. I didn't know that. And that's what I really wanted to focus in on today. So that way all you people out there can be aware of the symptoms that you develop as you're developing this appendicitis. Because you only have so many days to catch it. And if you let it go for too long, it'll kill you. And along the way, I'm going to tell you about the procedure I had and the recommendations I got for you guys out there and some backstories on this whole thing. Because I learned a lot reading through your comments and of course talking with my doctor, I learned a lot too. So strap in hold on because this is gonna be a fun ride appendix it's a little tiny thing it looks like your pinky hanging down where your small intestine and your large intestine come together but what you might not know is that when you're young of course you need that darn thing because as you're growing up and developing it helps your immune system and it creates healthy bacteria for your gut and as you get older from what I understand you don't need it anymore and yeah I know that there's different papers out right now that discuss the pros and cons of that conversation and I'm not gonna get into that so real quick I'm gonna go over the five things that can cause appendicitis. I know there's a lot of it that I don't know, so if you got more information, go ahead and leave it down below in a comment. And then, of course, I'm gonna go over the symptoms, so if you guys start to experience that, bam, you can get into the ER and that monker removed. So the five things that I was told that can cause this little monker to flare up is that you can have fecal matter plugging it up, or you can have a virus that causes issues, bacteria that can cause issues, you can even have parasites that can cause an issue inside of that darn thing. And if you get hit really hard right there, that can also cause it to inflame. Once it becomes inflamed, you only have so much time to get that darn thing removed. Only a matter of days. Because if it swells up too big, it'll rupture. And if it ruptures, all that material is just gonna flow out into the, the body. And you know what that's gonna do, right? Oh, I've heard horror stories about what happens once all that material comes out after a burst. So you want to be able to recognize the symptoms as fast as possible so you can address a potential problem because once this thing pops it's all over but to crying and it can kill you too. So I'm going to tell you the symptoms that I got and I'm going to give you the timelines too so you can kind of get an idea of how much time you have once you start to feel these symptoms. So once we came back from Carson City I woke up the next morning and I felt a pain right about there. And it, honestly, it felt like gas. Like I had a bubble of gas right off to the right side of my stomach. And I didn't think much of it. You know, I thought, ah, it's probably from one of those steaks I had, steak and eggs, cowboy style. And it's just lodged in there creating a bunch of gas. So I didn't think much of it. A whole day was like that. It just wouldn't go away. And it just kind of hung out there right next to the right side of my stomach. The next morning, the pain had shifted from here and went all the way down to right there. And I thought, that's kind of weird. Why would it shift all the way from here to here? That must be one heck of a steak that's trying to make its way through my digestive tract. So I poked on it and 
Every time I poked right there, oh, it hurt pretty bad. I thought, you know, I've never had a steak do that before. Years ago as a child, I remember hearing stories about appendicitis and the symptoms. And I thought, this, this sounds just like that. So I went on WebMD and all the other sites on YouTube. And sure enough, they said, you know, these are the exact symptoms uh, if you have appendicitis and you need to get to the ER as fast as possible. So I went ahead and I called Nellis Air Force Base and I said, hey, I need to get in because I think I have appendicitis. I gave her all my symptoms. I said, yeah, it sounds like a classic case of appendicitis you need to get in here right now so we didn't waste any time we got right in the jeep and we drove out there and i had him take a look at it now from what i understand is is if you go a third day with this type of pain the next symptom is you start feeling nauseous and you start throwing up when you get to that stage you're starting to reach critical if you wait a fourth day that thing can pop and if it pops, oh man, your life is in serious danger. You can die. At the least, you're gonna be extremely sick. You're gonna have a long stay in the hospital. So once we got over to the ER, of course I had to get some blood work done and I had to have a CAT scan. A <laughs> side note on a CAT scan, I don't know if you guys have ever had a CAT scan with a substance called contrast. Oh man, it's the only way they can see what your organs look like on the inside. So as they put you in the tube and they rotate it, they shoot the contrast in and it makes your lower extremity feel like they're on fire on fire it's on fire hey it's gonna start a fire so once they got the blood work back from the lab and all the imaging was deciphered the surgeon came in and said yeah 100 percent. you got appendicitis son so now you have a choice i didn't know you had a choice you can either have extreme antibiotics or you can have that darn monker pulled out it's up to you so i asked the doctor i said dog if i don't get it pulled out is there a chance it could come back he goes oh yeah most definitely well then why would I want to keep it. Come on, pull that monker out of me. And he says, All right, we'll prep you for surgery. And then sometime in the morning, we'll yank that monker out. The surgery usually takes about an hour if there's no complications. In the old days, they used to cut you right here on the side and pull the thing clean out right there. The procedure I had was called a, a, a laparoscopy, a, a laparoscopy. I can't pronounce it. You know what I mean. A laparoscopy. We'll just go with that. And so you get three holes as a birthday present <laughs> one through your belly button and two over here on the side. And of course, say one of them's for a camera, one of them is to, I guess, pump air in your stomach to blow it up, and the other one is the little tool that goes in and cuts the thing out and then pulls it out through your belly button. The recovery time on the laparoscopy is a lot better than having a big old gash right here on your side. That's what they're doing right now, and of course, that's the most common procedure uh, in the United States. So I wanted to get all this information out there so if there was anybody out there that was experiencing these symptoms, they could get themselves to the hospital and get that monker pulled out before it's too late. Because like I said, if you wait too long and just take a bunch of pain pills to alleviate it thinking it's nothing, ooh, that darn thing will come up and bite you in the booty. And another thing I didn't know is you can have this problem at any age. I didn't know that. I thought, oh, this is just something that you know you get when you're between the ages of 10 and 20. And after that, pfft, you don't gotta worry about it no more. Uh-uh-uh. You can get this darn thing at any age and that's like a ticking time bomb especially if you're eating uh, cowboy style eggs and beans or what was that one thing the guy said he said jeff i got my appendix from eating green apples i don't know if that's true or not but that's what's so spooky and another thing i didn't know is that astronauts are required to have them pulled out before they do space missions because if you're up there think about it you just start developing symptoms you can't say hey buddy send me back home real quick so i can get this darn thing yanked out interesting side note that i didn't know so if you get the opportunity to get this darn thing pulled out, I say go for it because it's just a ticking time bomb. And there's going to be controversy on both sides of the coin whether you should have it or not. If that thing can kill me and I really don't need it, pull it out. My philosophy is if in doubt, yank it out. <laughs> Oh, and of course the doctor said I had to lay off all my cowboy style eggs and beans. I don't know why he would say that. So I wanted to get all this information that I just recently found out out there to you guys. Because maybe there's somebody out there that was like me and didn't know this. And if I can save just one person's life, it's well worth it. So anyway, if you got questions or comments or maybe your own story, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, okay? And for all my premium patrons out there, we're going to be giving away all the silver at the end of the month, so keep your pants on. And if you'd like to sign up as a premium patron and maybe get one of these silver bars yourself, it's real simple. Just click this little icon right here, make a $10 pledge, and you're automatically qualified to get in on this silver. So I just wanted to thank everybody once again for all your kind words, your comments, and your prayers. Me and my wife really appreciated that. I thought that was the nicest thing I ever saw. And like I said, we got some cool new video formats that I think you're going to love. So you guys leave me a comment down below. We'll see you on the next video. And in the infamous words of my surgeon, my appendix, so come on, let's go!